and now to former Soprano star Jamie Lynn Sigler's secret health battle. The actress revealing in People magazine she has been battling multiple sclerosis for more than a decade. Jesse Palmer is here now with that story. Jesse? Thanks, Larry. You know, Jamie Lynn says she's been making her bombshell health revelation for her family, her new husband, and her young son. And she's now opening up about her 15 year battle with this debilitating condition. It wasn't my fault. She's best known for her role playing Tony Soprano's daughter, Meadow. We're under a lot of pressure, okay? But during her time on The Sopranos, actress Jamie Lynn Siegler given a heartbreaking diagnosis that she kept secret for nearly 15 years. I was diagnosed with MS when I was 20 years old. Um, it was a shock. This morning, Siegler revealing to People magazine that after struggling with a case of Lyme disease at age 19, she says she was left with feelings of heaviness and tingling in her legs, diagnosed with multiple sclerosis just a year later. She confided in one of her famous co-workers. Jamie Lynn Sigler kept this secret for a long time. She would never tell people she worked with, but she did ultimately confide in James Gandolfini because she said that she really trusted him. I don't want to hold a secret where it feels like I have something to be ashamed of or something to hide. It's part of who I am, it's not who I am. Also part of her decision to speak out, her two-year-old son, Bo. She didn't want her son to feel like he ever had to keep the secret for her once he went to school and he had people asking about his mom and why she might be tired. And she just wanted to see if she could actually help people with this. Siegler telling people over the last decade her symptoms gradually getting worse, saying she can't walk for a long period of time without resting. I cannot run. No superhero roles for me. But despite her disease, Siegler doing her best to live life to the fullest. The 34-year-old recently celebrating her wedding to pro baseball player Cutter Dykstra. The two married by singer Lance Bass over the weekend. She just married somebody who she's deeply in love with. They have a beautiful son together. And she actually is someone who's counting her blessings. And Jamie Lynn goes on to say that she's finally got her medication under control. She's feeling better and she's happy with her new husband Cutter and her son Bo. Lara? Thank you so much, Jesse. And I'm joined now by ABC News senior medical contributor, Dr. Jen Ashton. Just want to ask, how hard do you think, how brave is it for Jamie Lynn to come out and how helpful is it for others? Well, we always think it's helpful when a celebrity uses their illness or chronic condition to bring awareness. And this is an example that the disease or the illness does not define the person. I love that. It doesn't define you. But, but it's still, I as an actress would, might be like, oh, I don't know. Does this become a, a label, a badge? Right. And I, I think that she and so many people struggling with this or any other chronic condition have to face that, whether it's in a small circle or nationally coming public but you know I think you, you asked how hard could it have been to hide it fatigue is the de most debilitating hallmark sign or symptom that affects women and men dealing with MS it affects about 90% of people it can be both physical or even psychological so many of us are exhausted though all the time Dr. Jen especially with a job like this we don't sleep well exactly so are there other signs besides being extremely tired to look for there are I want you to look at this graphic because there are a lot of vague symptoms but remember, this is an immune condition that affects, affects the central nervous system. So you can see anything occurring from blurred or visual problems, problems thinking, cognitive issues, lack of coordination with motor function, loss of balance, or even numbness or tingling. Now, certainly not all of these signs or symptoms mean someone has MS. The diagnosis is usually brain imaging, like an MRI, a good history and physical exam. And again, it's a chronic issue that people have to live with for their lives. Have there been advances? though. There is reason for hope. You know, the mainstay of treatment is medication to kind of suppress the immune system. And then rehabilitation therapy for people having difficulty with motor function. Just yesterday, we heard exciting news on use of stem cells. So there's always reason for hope. Oh, that, that's great. Hope. Yeah, absolutely. A beautiful word. For Dr. sure. Dr. Jen, I thank you so you much. Bet.